welcome back or to this week's vlog if you are new I'll give you a super quick intro yes indeed my name is Dawn I'm a British expat from Manchester for over 20 years almost 24 I think I've been living in the Netherlands just on the border of Amsterdam and I live here with my partner Lawrence who's from South Africa and our sons uh, Joshua and William and our fur babies uh, Jack and Daxter so um, welcome welcome everybody's welcome here it's a safe space um, make friends talk amongst yourselves in the description box below and you'll get to know each other over time and if you are one of those OGs every turn of you are welcome back I hope everybody has had a good week so hopefully you would have seen a little bit of footage my um, spider plants um, are um, having babies left right and center uh, to the point where the one I've got um, this one gets stood outside my house Jack Jack come here here it's the neighbor the neighbors um, stood outside Jack okay. uh, yes I've got uh, I've got a, a big spider plant behind you two three cuttings which have grown into medium-sized spider plants and I've got uh, three on the counter and pointing here next to me. These spider plants are something that William, my youngest son, grew in school as part of a project, brought them home one Christmas break, I think it was. We had to take care of them. Uh, one of them was already potted and one of them was in like a little plastic bag and we had to see if it, you know, if it rooted properly. Anyway, they're thriving. They're having babies everywhere. They never went back to school because eventually the teacher said, no, you can keep them. And I just don't know what to do with them. Anyway, I've got two more now on the kitchen table behind you. I think they seem to be a little te bit temperamental. They're allegedly, they're easy to keep, not in my house. They're, I've moved them around, you know, over the space of a year. And some positions they love, they just thrive, and some they really don't like. They liked my, they like my kitchen table because there's the skylight, it's a um, one story kitchen extension. The skylight's over the table. They do like that. They're doing really well on the island, but they're thriving on the, the bar counter here. But I've got no room for them. So I'm gonna try the two cuttings I've just took. I might pop them in the bathroom. I haven't got any windowsills in this house. I think I've literally got one in the lounge and that's it. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Um, Anyway, what are our plans this weekend? Uh, Lawrence has just popped out to watch Joshua play the second half of his football match. Uh, the season's imminent, it's on us. Um, and then he went to the garden, uh, not the garden centre, he went to the DIY store this morning to buy a new tool because the, the door frame, we have wooden doors, um, wooden windows and doors here, uh, needs this, it needs repairing. So he's bought a special tool, he's going to repair the door frame today um then we had a call with our mortgage advisor because we had our mortgage was on a fixed term for five years and then it's up we have to either accept the new terms or look shop around uh by the first of october and um the new terms are crazy so we have um a mortgage advisor we've had him for years he's actually very good and um, he's um, been shopping around. Anyway, we've decided we're gonna change provider because even he said, I'm sorry, I think they're just ripping people off at this point. So that's, um, we spent an hour on the call with him. Uh, I've cleaned the kitchen, I've pegged laundry out, washing out in the sunshine. I've got stuff in the dryer, the socks and stuff that literally take half an hour in the dryer. I've got a new load on, uh, potted some plants and, um, it's just coming up to 12.30, so I think I'm just gonna have a bite to eat, make a spot of lunch. And then I think for the rest of the day, no plans. I mean, Lawrence is doing DIY, so I might, I might um, dissect, if you watched last week's vlog, I might dissect some owl pellets and have a look. Um, yeah, we'll see what's in them. So I might record that. Um, I might record a podcast. I have to see because the sun is kind of going onto the table where I usually sit so I don't know if it's going to be practical we'll see we'll see anyway the vlog has begun um I can't say I've got concrete plans this week but let's see how it all unfolds and um yeah let's um let's spend a nice uh, week together and for you it'll be probably less than an hour of your time so see you in a while
good afternoon. Um, I hope it's not too windy. Just now and again a breeze picks up. So I'm just sitting in the garden. Um, I've been bitten on the top of my thigh. Oh my God, it's so itchy. I started taking an antihistamine in the evening just before I go to bed so I don't get, I don't become a human buffet for the mosquitoes. Um, it's been really overcast today and now the sun's come out but it's cloudy so we kind of debated whether to go on the boat or not but I just said to Lawrence I just don't I just don't feel like it I know that sounds strange but it's just you know the whole like packing a bag and then going and you know getting all the covers off the boat and I am actually really happy it's a bit windy now I hope you can hear me I'm happy to just potter around at home anyway I think you would have seen some footage. Um, so the back of our house, it's, as some of you will know, it's a kitchen extension and uh, it's it's clad in wood, which is very common here in the Netherlands. And um, the bottom um, slat, I think it is, the bottom slat or piece of wood and the frame was just completely rotten. So anyway, Lawrence has done a fantastic job patching it up it's only temporary solution because then I think I panned out and I've shown you the size of um, of the doors and the windows and oh, there's a little ant on me and um, we're now discussing to take that whole section of wall out and put um, like nice patio doors that was always the plan and then where um, just to the right of the glass win wall, window, door wall. Uh, there's no window or anything there because the intention was always to put a shed up in that corner. I think I've spoken about this loads of time, times. So for now it will do. Um, we've measured up, so I think we're going to get some quotes this week. Um, anyway, so what happened, he's, he's finished doing that. He's just got to let the glue all dry and then um, we give it a quick sand and just paint it. He's not going to go to town and make it all perfect because, I mean, it's just a practical thing at the moment. But anyway, I've finished the one sock I was knitting. Posted it on my Instagram. It's cotton sock. Not done my owl pellets yet. I'm building myself up for it. And then I'm busy crocheting. Um, this was supposed to be um, like a t-shirt, a tee. But I, I like the pattern, but I've changed my mind. I want a cardigan, so I've, I've just finished the back panel. I love the colours. And I'm just winging it as I go. I've measured a knitted cardigan that I really, really like. And I've actually just gone online and ordered um, some, like, Aran worsted weight um, cotton to try and replicate the knitted cardigan looks really easy there's the, it's so uh it's so thick that i can count the stitches it's really basic it looks like a kimono style so i'm going to kind of replicate the shape of that cardigan in the crochet isn't that lovely and um i think i'm going to knit one as well because so it's the one i've got i think it's in like um a sandy nudie beige color which is lovely um, although it has seen better days. Oh, there's a plane going over. Uh, and I think, I've, if I remember rightly, I ordered like a really dark, rusty russet is the colour, I think. Anyway, yeah, so I've just come out here. Thought I'd do a bit of crochet, but it's actually a bit bright, so I might just have a little snooze. Last night, um, we had a barbecue. Uh, Lawrence and William and I, Joshua was he went out with his friends on the lake and then I, th I don't know what they did after that but um apparently <laughs> there was a lot of drink involved have you seen my little my little green head hedge things falling off as you can see i've only got where's my thumb i've only got two cushions out that i'm sat on it's just such a faff because we haven't got a shed anyway i think we'll get we'll we'll see about replacing that section and then after that we'll, we'll maybe think about a new shed in the autumn we'll see we'll see um what are the plans for this week i'm thinking i might work from home all week 
uh, the week after, yeah, I've got one week left in work and then I'm off for two weeks. I think I might have mentioned it. In the middle of those, that two, those two weeks, uh, I'm going to Malta. Uh, my friend Michelle, who, if you've been around a while, you've met her a few times on the vlog. Um, Michelle and her partner Duncan are getting hitched to tie the knot. So I'm chief bridesmaid. So I'm going to go over a few couple of days early. I'm going over on the Wednesday. Lawrence will dry, uh, fly over on the Friday morning and the wedding is Friday evening. Uh, I'm going early because um, it's having a little hen do. And, uh, and I'm going to help her with the wedding and stuff. Sorry, I'm scratching these mosquito bites on my leg. Don't, don't do it at all. Um, yeah, so I think there is major roadworks on the A10 going on until the first or second week of September and the other night it took me an, over an hour and 15 minutes to drive home in the school holidays which technically should have been maximum like 30 minute drive so I think yeah and a lot of my co actually a lot of my colleagues are on holiday at the moment so I think I think I'll just work from home and I get I get so much more done at home I like going in the office I like seeing my colleagues but I just find that, you know, working from home, I could just zone out and catch up on stuff. Anyway, the wind's just picking up, so I'm going to start waffling. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens in the rest of the week. And I'm, I'm sort of building myself up to do the owl pellets. I might do them, do, do them. I might do one or two tomorrow. I think, um, I don't know, Lawrence is working from home tomorrow. We'll see, maybe one evening. And anyway, I'm gone into waffle mode now. I will catch you in a while. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm just on my lunch break. Just pulled out of our own and the police can't really hit me head on. I'm very responsible driving. Never see the police near me. I'm just like, oh, what's, what's happened? Maybe they're just doing patrolling because it's the summer holidays. And unfortunately, as do many places, we do suffer from the occasional break-in during the holiday period. But um, anyway, touch wood. Uh, this morning, so I'm working from home, I decided to call it because I just, I think I mentioned this, I just get so much more done. Um, and then, and also because uh, I don't have to get up really early, uh, I get a bit of a lie-in. And, um, sorry, I'm just concentrating on the parking situation. And, uh, I actually just wake up naturally on my own, which is really nice. Uh, so anyway, I was up super all bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning. And, um, I think that's Joshua's friend. And, um, I decided to, uh, film, uh, me, um, dissecting uh, an owl palette so hopefully by the time this video loads I've uploaded that video I hope, I hope. it was really good fun I only did one though my gosh it was there was a lot in it so I don't know when I'm, I'll ever get around to um, having a look in the other ones but anyway we'll see how it goes by the end of this video you'll know for sure if I uploaded it or not right I had to pop to the supermarket because it's absolutely there's no bread, there's nothing in the house to make a quick sandwich. The boys are both sleeping, Lawrence is at the office, so I thought I'll just pop out now on my lunch break and um, just stretch my legs a bit. So anyway, I'm going to start waffling, go run in quickly, grab something, and then out again and I bought my bag for life. See you in a while. Hello, good afternoon. Um, I'm in the car with William. Hello. <laughs> uh, I had to... Uh, I had to return something something to the H&M and I figured well today is technically my short day and what do you know I finished on time Woo first time in a long time that's happened and um, so I asked well so do you fans coming for a little ride go out so we've had a lovely afternoon walking around um, the shopping centre bought a few bits and bobs what did we get? Oh, got got two new mugs. I'll show you. I'll show you what I bought when I got home. Just had an interesting conversation. Williams just told me that the Australian house spider, house spider has been spotted in the Netherlands, which apparently it's not poisonous, 
but it's massive. What joy. And then apparently, was it last year? We had a, a, a wolf spider was also spotted in the Netherlands. Whoopee. <sighs> anyway. Um, last night, bit of an interesting evening. Uh, Lawrence, well, everybody was out. Everybody was out doing their own thing. And um, it was very dark. Rained most of the day. Um, got a ring on the, the doorbell. The doorbell. And it was my neighbour. Wasn't feeling well. Wasn't sure if it was his heart. Could Lawrence take him to the hospital? So I was like, no, he's not in. But I will take you. Because um, you, if you've been around a while, you know we have two cars. So I had to get the old little car out that I've not driven for, I don't even know, it must be a year. Couldn't remember, <laughs> couldn't put it in reverse. Anyway, got him in the car, set off, he was on the phone to the hospital. The hospital, hospital said, no, turn around, go back to your house and have called an ambulance, it's on its way. Uh, so we did that, anyway. Uh, the ambulance took him in and um, checked him over and I think he got home about two o'clock in the morning all completely fine so I don't know what that was I don't know if he had like a panic attack or an anxiety or something the thing is I've, I've never spoke to him <laughs> he's our neighbour's um, brother and their uh, the whole family's in India at the moment and he's in the house of his own I think he's been over for a good few months now and I think Lawrence has spoken to him once or twice. Seems very nice, but we just don't know him. Um, so anyway, um, I've been happy with him, and he said he's got friends. Uh, his friends were coming today, so he does know somebody. So um, I said, well, we'll just leave him alone for now. Uh, but I said, you know, if there's anything, oh, gosh. is he letting your child play on the zebra crossing? Some people have just got no brains. Sorry. Uh, so anyway, I said, you know, you've got my number now. So if there's anything happens. My gosh, though, what a... It's a bit of a drama, unexpected drama. Must admit, the ambulance came in less than 10 minutes. So that was quite impressive. Anyway, so today I've been working from home. Um, I need to check the little bones from the owl pellet. Because it's been uh, enough time now that they've been soaking in this solution so um hopefully uh maybe after dinner i can do that and um finish the little video off um lawrence is out again this evening he's been having i spoke about his tinnitus problem so as well as seeing my osteopath he's been having this it's not bio resonance but it's bio something uh treatment in amsterdam Personally, when he signed up for it, I, I said, I think it's a dodge. I wasn't convinced of it. And, um, I don't know. He's, I think he paid for a course of seven sessions. And I think maybe this is his fifth one tonight. And he said he's not noticed any difference at all. So he's going to continue with the osteopath. But I said I would keep you up to, up to date, keep you posted on what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, there isn't a cure for it. But if you can find something that helps you then of course you have to try it so um yeah and then tomorrow i'm gonna to work from home again and um then that's me done for not quite two weeks but uh like a week and a half off work uh if you remember and um, i'm going to malta to my friend michelle's wedding anyway i'm gonna stop waffling now uh we're halfway home and uh William and I have just popped to the supermarket and we've bought um, a frozen pizza just so it's a quick and easy dinner and everybody can eat when they like but when I get home I'll give you a quick, quick look at what I bought see you in a while okay I'm back uh, I promised to show you a few things so I popped it into the Zanos and I've got some amaretti biscuits I love these I'm going to open them right now and have one uh, and then I also there's a couple of mugs wearing muslin that I absolutely hate so I said to Will I'm gonna get a couple of mugs and so buy two two out because 
I'm not really, um, I've never had like a full set of six or eight mugs. I just like odd mugs. So I got these from the Zanos. I think they were like four or five euro each. Aren't they lovely? Just like the size, that, that's, that's a good size for me. And a solid mug and no curvy lips. So I've got two of them. Uh, do you remember, I think I've shown you, we bought Joshua a ramen bowl a few weeks ago and he loves it. He's using it daily. So we've got him a, new, a, a spare one. So he's got a black one and a blue and red one now. So he's always got a clean bowl because actually I don't know if you can hear the dishwashers on. Um, yeah, and then I think this should be the other. Yeah, this is the other mug. Oh no. This. Is it too early? They had some autumn bits and bobs in the Xenos. So I've got this. Actually, this doesn't smell like pumpkin spice. The pink, oh, basil and wood. Oh, it's nice. Sorry, William's new laptop's arrived for school. Because soon, uh, in a couple of weeks, maybe when I'm back from Malta, I need to do my, uh, ooh, let's see what's not very good on that. I need to do my autumn uh, display. It's not a very good seal, but anyway, um, on the fire. So I'll have to de-summarise it, if that's the word. And then, uh, here is the other, here is the other mug. Okay, so I'll wash them. And then Joshua is still on his ramen noodles. So we've got in this uh, Jajang flavour. And then they said this one was new, habanero lime. These are hot chicken, so he's got some more noodles to try, and he likes this carbonara one, so we've got him back. That's everything, and then I popped quickly into Dylan Camille, which is a Dutch company. Oh no, I bought a little, um, it's called the, I think it's called like the book stall. Uh, I thought they'd all um, closed down. It's a little bit like the works in the UK, but obviously all the books are indoors. But they sell crafting stuff. And I saw this, I so couldn't resist. How cute is that? A little cross stitch. Guinea pig. Oh, it's so dinky. It's tiny. So, William said, ah, go on, get it. So yeah, popped into Dylan and Camille. And I bought, um, it's a table runner. It seems a strange thing to buy. But, um, and I think it was just under 10 euro. But um, I absolutely love this fabric. It's like um, a stiff linen. Uh, and it's quite long. It's like two meter long. So I think it's not bad value, but I use, this is, I, I like these. Sometimes I use them for bottom, uh, bag bottoms, the uh, drawstring ones, but also for, um, toy making and I've got a pattern that I've just bought off Etsy and I've got all the um I've got all the paper pieces cut out so I just need to pin it on and I sort of, oh, I'm gonna get some more of this stuff and then I've got one other thing from there uh actually I can use it it's gonna come in handy with this I bought a stick of beeswax for which is really handy for cross stitch yeah it's a, a beeswax um, stick, staff, stick, staff, yeah. I don't know what is a staff, yeah. Mm, it smells nice. So, yeah, that's for my sewing kit. So, yeah, we're back now. Um, I think I mentioned we've bought frozen pizza. Lawrence's appointment has been postponed, he's told me. So, we're all home for dinner. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's 20 to 6. So, that's the whole thing when we do the pizza. Easy breezy. Everybody can just eat when they want to. So, we'll see how that goes. Right, I'm going to get rid of all this paper and the tripod's doing this again shrinking down and then at some point I have to I have to um clean up the little the little little tiny bones and film that right I'm gonna stop waffling catch you in a while good morning uh I need to do a few errands this morning um first one I'm going to the dry cleaners and dropping Lawrence's um, suit off for him for the wedding. Gosh, I'm looking at the canal next to us. The water is like quite high. We've hardly had any rainfall. Strange, maybe they're not pumping as much. And um, it's really windy. So I think there's some kind of storm 
hitting the UK and then I think we're getting kind of getting the tail end of it here in the Netherlands but I checked the um I checked the uh, radar and uh, there's no rain expected although it is like mildly spitting um, very 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 mildly spitting but it's just really windy anyway it's fine so we've got um, at my little local shops we've got like um, like a, a, a repair guy Ooh, that's a good spot a repair guy and he does dry cleaning and all other stuff and you just keep cutting and coupling and the rest of it so um i'm just going to drop it off here but his his waiting time's quite long so i don't know if i'm going to leave it because lawrence needs um lawrence needs his suit by thursday at the latest so we'll see we'll see uh and then i'm thinking i might pop to the garden center because that spider plant by the sink has gone Ooh, I felt the car move then with the wind. It's gone crazy. It's sprouting babies left, right and centre. And um, they're all, because it's on the counter over the sink, they're all sort of, they're all growing around the tap. So uh, either way, I'm going to have to, I need to cut it back. And it's a shame because it's such a healthy plant and it's doing so well. So I'm thinking I might pop to the garden centre, get some compost, and then just um, snip all the babies off and put them in little plant pots. And I'll probably just give them away to neighbours and friends, just so. It's a shame not to do something with them. Um, so I'm thinking I might do that. Whilst I'm here, I have to go to the supermarket as well. The online grocery deliveries, I'm really late with it, and they're all full up until Monday. So I said to Lawrence, well, we'll just pick up a few bits and bobs, and um, I'll just do the grocery order from Monday. A grocery order, order, oh my gosh, I can't speak, from Monday. Um, so anyway, the... The owl pellet video um, uploaded today. You would have seen on the screen it's Friday. So if you missed it, go back and have a look. Let me know what you think. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but it's not gory. It's just, there's no, um, like, it's just literally, a, a, like, it looks like a little, they look like little sort of, you know, um, oval cow pats, just dry with a few bits stuck in them. It's not gory. It's just, Maybe it's a bit morbid, I don't know, but it was it was fascinating. Right, I'm going to stop waffling and um, I'm going to drop the suit off, get a few bits and bobs and then um, I'll have a chat with you when I get home later. Oh, there's a lady just walked past my car and looked at me talking to you guys. See you in a while. I've actually um, been home and had lunch. Uh, the dry cleaning will be ready on Tuesday, midday. So that's good because then I can collect it and know it's all taken care of because I need to take it with me on Wednesday morning uh, when I fly to Malta. So um, I had a quick look in the Aldi. I don't know, I'm always living in hope because I see in the UK that the Aldis have like fantastic crafting things and um, Netherlands not so much. So anyway, I had a quick look. There was nothing interesting. I did buy some like plastic storage boxes for um, the the family bathroom and the downstairs toilet, um, you know, for cleaning products and stuff. I've got two baskets in there, but oh uh, yeah, it's time for them to be thrown out. So that was it. And then I popped to the aisle behind the supermarket. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. Um, to get some essentials because. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that I couldn't do the couldn't get a delivery slot for the online groceries until Monday I left it a bit too late and I think I think a lot of people are coming back from vacation this weekend uh, so um, there's probably a lot of online deliveries that's why they're busy but what is this guy doing um, they for a couple of weeks they've had this um, scratch card promotional thing on and um, every time I've done my online groceries, you know, it keeps telling me I've got like X amount of scratch cards. And you must get like so many cards for so many euros you spend. And I've sort of, I've done it with my finger on the screen. Oh, that's interesting. But not paid much attention. I thought it was one of these, you know, buy one and get one free. And it's, most of the time it's products that, you know, I'm not interested in. Anyway, so um, I did the grocery, uh, a short shop. And then um, I said to Lawrence, 
I'll do uh, I'll do the grocery delivery for Monday because I'm home. And then um, again, these scratch card things popped up, so I was busy, you know, with my finger. And then I was like, what exactly? How do you redeem them? What is it? So I looked into it. I had like 84 euros worth of groceries. That was strange. So um, and a free groceries, not not like buy one. Oh. Yeah, so I had all these free groceries. So uh, I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna, they're free, I'm gonna take them. Uh, because even if we don't want them or use them, uh, I can give them to the neighbors. Uh, now, what am I looking at? Am I looking at my mirrors or the camera on the car? <laughs> it's again, to confuse myself now. I'm eating the lines, can't see with the sun. I think so. Yeah, I think that was actually quite good party. Um, yeah, so um, I just was like clicking, put them in the basket, and they're not, they're not like a lot of things that. Um, sorry, I'm putting the seat back so um, I can get out more comfortable. Um, they're not things like uh, that are part of my staple shop every week, but some of the things like there was a yogurt. Well, Lawrence likes yogurt. It's just a different brand, and there was like. Um, loads of drinks cool drinks um of of brands that we've bought in the past but like not the typical flavors we get but actually there was flavors that like lawrence and the boys love mango anything so i got some like mango drinks i think there was um toilet cleaner there was all kinds of stuff anyway when i got to the checkout there was i think like five or six items that um they said not in stock i had to choose something else but the alternative wasn't the, the free scratch card thing and i was like fine whatever anyway i totted it all up my gro <laughs> the delivery is going to be huge and um it was um 64 euros worth of savings well saving savings it's not stuff i would have bought but still thought what a really good uh, offer that is so anyway if i don't if there's stuff that we don't like the boys don't want lawrence doesn't want whatever whatever uh, I said, well, I'll just see if the neighbours want them. Or if not, I'm sure I can find a food bank somewhere and can donate them, you know. Um, that's, you know, I'm, I'm going to take them. It's free, I'll take them and somebody can use them. If not us, oh, it's raining. There's a storm in the UK at the moment. I think it's called Lillian. Um, we've got, we've kind of got the tail end of it here. So it's been, this morning was so windy. Uh, and now it's um, the wind has dried down, but it's rain. I've brought an umbrella with me. I'll check the rain radar before I get out of the car. It might just be a little shower that I'll blow over. No more window wipers aren't on. Um, but I was happy with Jeanette, and uh, she said um, it's like a hurricane's hit them over there. I said, I asked her, I said, have you got this storm where you are? I said, yeah, there's roads closed, there was a motorway closed. Her and Tim had to pop out and then they got back and the street was like a hurricane had hit it. So I think we've got off lightly, like, we've got off lightly here. Gosh, I can't speak. I'm so tired. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Uh, no, no update on the tinnitus thing with Lawrence. Those Maca Maca tablets I'm taking, can't say I've noticed a difference yet. Not, I'm not like, there's no notice. Uh, I think you have to take them for quite a while, but, you know, and gradually build them up in your system. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, there was something else I was going to mention to you. Popped into my brain. Can you hear the rain? I was going to tell you about the progress on something. What on earth was it? Oh, yes. That's what I was going to tell you. On... When I come back, so at the beginning of September, I've got a follow-up with the um, the podiatrist, the foot doctor, uh, about how these new shoes went that I had, that I had, you know, made and everything. I've not worn them. They, I think the shoes are fine, but the insoles that they've made for me are awful. They're rock hard. There's absolutely no, zero cushioning in them. And one of them, it's too high. So that it feels like the back of my heels like keeps slipping 
out you know um, the back of the shoe when I wear them as a result I've not worn them now technically I could put the soles of the sandals that I bought online um, in them but because we've had great weather um, I've not actually been wanting to wear like thick leather trainers so anyway I'm gonna go uh, I'll take the shoes with me I'll confess I've not been wearing them but I'm gonna ask them to sh either change the insoles or um, no, they have to change them. I, they're unbearable. I can't even push through to try and get used to walking in them because they just, they hurt my feet. You'd think there'd be a bit of cushioning in them, especially, you know, having arthritis and inflammation. Anyway, all right, I've gone into full-on waffle mode now. Um, oh, This is here. Who remembers last week? I think it was. Was it last week or this week? I bought this... Um, this chain to put on your uh, glasses I put them on my sunglasses I took them off oh, it was awful I could either feel them feel that this here felt uncomfortable or they would if I put them forward so I couldn't feel them on my ear I could see them out of my peripheral does anybody have um chains on their glasses what do you think can you get used to them or not I just didn't like it anyway I'll donate that to somebody right I'm going to check the rain radar as long as it doesn't pour down, I'm going to the action, uh, which is literally just behind, it's just over down there behind me, um, because I need to change my, sorry, I'm watching a big truck reverse in front of me, I need to change the um, fire uh, display to autumn. I think I've shown you that I bought that pumpkin candle. I don't, the smell of it's not nice. I wish I'd have bought the other colour candle now. Anyway, um, so I'm not sure if I'll do that before or after I come back from Malta, but the, um, if you've been around a while, you'll know I've got that nice um, stand to display a wreath. And the idea behind it was I was gonna have a wreath for each season or spring, summer could kind of be the same. Anyway, I wanna change it now to an autumn wreath, but the big, the nice one that I made uh, I, I took it to the workshop and I've left it there and I've said to the ladies uh, if you decorate for autumn just it belongs to the workshop now so I need to make a new one so I'm going to pop to the action uh, I think they've got all their autumn stuff in so I'm going to see if I can find I need a wreath and then I need some bits and bobs to decorate it I've got some stuff in the house that I can use but well it's worth having a look and then um, if not I, I am kind of debating whether to go to the garden centre still or not I mean, I might do that tomorrow when it's a bit drier. Uh, and I might, I'm not sure if I go to the craft shop in the next village for a look. But I'm also like, oh, I don't know, do I need to, do I need to? So let's go to these shops and then buy stuff I don't, I don't need or shouldn't buy. Anyway, right, I'm gonna stop waffling out. I think the rain's just eased off, so I'll catch you in a while. <laughs> friend was here and he brought um, some pastries with him so I'll show you what I've bought I will seem to finish off the vlog with a shopping haul do you like it are you interested let me know <laughs> um, so I bought I, I went to two places for the um, autumn stuff isn't that so cute it's like a little um, like velvet covered squirrel I just couldn't resist they had uh, different colours in the um, garden centre there's no price on it i think it was like three or four euro so every, i've got loads of autumn stuff but every year i always like you know add a few things and leave a few few things out um so they didn't have they didn't have a wreath any wreaths in the um action and they had a very very limited choice at the garden centre so i'm just gonna have to make it work what i've got and then i've got some um 
like uh, sprigs of leaves. I just found everything like really orange this year. I know, I mean, it's autumn, but I like more like the dark browns and dark greens. But anyway, so I'm going to use, this is like the foliage for the, the wreath. This is, this is about the best I could get. It's a straw one, not the best colour. I've got a feeling I've got a can of dark brown acrylic sp uh, spray paint somewhere so I'm tempted to spray that uh, and then the other thing I've just bought some little little plastic pots and a bag of compost which is outside to um, plant all the uh, baby spider plants and I finally got around to buying some rooting powder not for the spider plants because they'll they'll they're ready they're rooted already uh, but I want to take some cuttings that huge huge lavender bush that um, all my bumblebees um, love in the summer it's it's on its last leg so i'm going to try and get a cutting from it because it's for some reason it seems to be a different variety from all the other lavenders in the garden and it is beautiful so that's uh this is my garden center hall just pop this on the floor and then these are these are the baskets got from aldi this uh, there was a set of three they're curver ones so I've put one on the stairs already with all the cleaning stuff. One will be for the downstairs loo and just one for storage. I might put it up by the washing machine and um, put all my um, laundry supplies in it. And then from the action, I've got a few bits and bobs. What I did get, which we desperately needed, they're not as big as the Ikea glasses, but for some reason they're not doing like the these tall Ikea glasses, well, not in the, in Amsterdam where I've looked. So this is a little bit smaller than the ones we usually get, but they had them in the action and I don't know, I think they were like a euro something each. I almost bought them on bowl.com, which is a little bit like Dutch Amazon, but I think they were like 30 euro for a pack of six. I'm not paying that. Um, so these are cute, maybe for the fire. Uh, these are a little light set, a uh, little glass. Um, acorns super cute I've got an acorn garland that I always put over the fire but uh, I think it's made from felt I treated myself to some salted caramel twigs and I've had one obviously um, oh I've been after these for ages and they cost a fortune palette knives I think it was a couple of euro from um, the action um, because I've got modeling paste from Sustan Grena I bought it months ago and uh, you know for, with stenciling but um, I really wanted a palette knife because they you know they they sort of they dip like this way it's you know if you use a flat knife it's difficult to get you know work it so I needed a new spatula it passed the bend test uh, oh and also um, I needed some I was after vanish but they've got the pink stuff white ones uh, the white oxy powder in the action so I grabbed it a lot cheaper than the Alpine well the, I don't think they have the pink stuff right let's go on to the autumn stuff so I've got a um, little pack of hessian or sacking ribbons bows uh, some loose acorns some loose berries they've got wire on them so be nice to put on a wreath. A bag of pine cones, probably glue them on or wire them. Uh, another couple of berry sprigs, and I just like them. Two little felt mushroom hangers. Will I use them as a hanger or will I snip the string off and glue them or put them on the wreath? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, that was it. Right. Uh, I think I've waffled on long enough now and if you're in the market for a bit of extra dawn and you've not seen it already there is another video I mentioned it of the owl pellets uh, and if you've already watched it what did you think um but yeah I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog um I'm not sure if there'll be I'm trying to think what day is it? I don't think there'll be a vlog next week but uh, Lawrence on call but maybe I can film a short one until Tuesday. We'll see. But if you don't see me next week, it, you know, it's because I'm in Malta at my friend Michelle and Duncan's wedding. So um, maybe you see me, maybe you don't. 
if um, if you don't see me, um, I'll let you know how it all goes. And uh, hopefully we've had a nice time in Malta. I'm sure the wedding will go without a hitch and we'll have a great time. And um, if I have time to film a short vlog until I leave, I'll, I'll do my best to get that out for you. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's not fix it because I don't know how busy I'm going to be or if I've got anything interesting to share with you. Um, don't forget, if it was the first time you're stopping by the channel and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and um, let me know that you enjoyed spending a bit of time for, uh, with me, a bit of your time with me. And um, if you did like today's video, hit the like button, the thumbs up, that would be awesome. If you're an OG or a returning viewer, thanks a lot, guys. I hope everybody has had a great week. Wishing you all a good week ahead. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.